Prelude. Today, their swimming facility is recorded as the largest in the world. This is not a ship in the full sense of the word. Prelude is a high-tech platform designed for the extraction and production of liquefied natural gas. It is not capable of independent movement. Special tugs are used for transportation. The ship is resistant to natural winds and easy survives from storms. Prelude is equipped with three engines, each of which has a capacity of 6.7 thousand horsepower. The length of the vessel is 488 meters. The height is 105 meters and the displacement is 600,000 tons. The platform is now in the Indian Ocean near Australia. Construction and testing took place off the coast of Korea. During the year of operation, the vessel produces about 3.6 million tons of liquefied gas. Pioneering Spirit Marine vessels are used not only for the passengers and cargo transportation, but also for construction. The Pioneering Spirit is the largest ship in the world involved in the transportation of offshore drilling platforms and the laying of pipelines underwater. The vessel is owned by a Swiss company but ploughs the sea under the flags of Malta and Panama. Until the end of 2019, Pioneering Spirit took part in the construction of the North Stream 2, trunk pipeline between Russia and Germany. The ship is 477 meter long, 382 meter high, and had a speed of 14 knots. This largest construction ship in the world was originally named after the owner's father. However, the public reacted with indignation to the name Peter Shelter. At one time, Peter Shelter Heron was a supporter of the Nazi and was a member of Waffen SS. Due to the parents' damaged past, the owner was forced to change the ship's name. Seawise Giant, the largest tanker for the oil transportation, got into the Guinness Records book for its size. The ship is 6 meters longer than the 88-story Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur, including the Spears, and is about the same wide as a football field. It is so large that the draft did not allow it to pass through the Suez, Panama and the English channels. Designed and built in Japan by Sumitomo Heavy Industries in mid-70s, the tanker was intended for a great customer. However, he refused to buy it. During the death, a strong vibration of the hull was found while sailing in rivers. As a result, the ship was resold to a Hong Kong company and rebuilt. Its displacement at full load reached an absolute record. 657,000 tons. During its long life, the ship changed owners and names several times. It was Happy Giant, Jeff Viking, Nock Navies, Mond, and went under the Liberian, Norwegian, American, and the Sierra Leone flags. In 1986, the Sea-Wise Giant was nearly destroyed during the Iran-Iraq War. A missile launched by an Iraqi fighter jet caused a fire on board. The crew was evacuated and the ship ran aground in Strait of Hermas and was presumed to have sunk. 
the Norwegians found it, repaired, and sent it on a new voyage. Since 2004, the world's largest tanker has ceased to be floating and was used as an oil storage near Qatar. In 2009, it made its last trip to the shores of India and was scrapped. After the giant was dismantled, the largest super tankers are four TI class ships with double hulls Oceania, Africa, Asia, and Europe. They are 380 meters long and surpass their competitors in dead weight 441 and a half thousand tons. Myersk. This giant container ship was built at a shipyard in Denmark. It is the longest ship of its kind. The ship was named in honor of the deceased wife of the owner of the shipbuilding company. Emma Myersk has seven sister ships with similar characteristics. The ship is 395 meters long about 57 meter wide and 30 meter high. The vehicle is capable of speeds up to 25 and half knots. The ship mainly runs between Southeast Asia and Northern Europe through the Strait of Gibraltar. The vessel is of great importance to the Danish economy. The importance of water transport was noted in 2011. The Royal State Mint has issued a coin featuring a container ship. USS Enterprise or CVN-65 This aircraft carrier was part of the United States Navy. It became the first ship on which a nuclear warhead was installed. The vessel entered service in 1961. It was planned to build five more such aircraft carriers, but the project was frozen. In addition, they wanted to install an anti-aircraft missile system on board. But due to budget overshoot, the idea was abandoned. The length of the ship is 342 meters. The width is 78 meters. This is a record value among warships. In 2017, the aircraft carrier was solemnly decommissioned, but they did not cut it into metal. Vale Brazil the length is 362 and the width is 65 meters. The dead weight is 402,000 tons. Launched in 2010, the largest dry cargo vessels for transporting ore are called Vale Max. This is a series of ships of the Brazilian mining company Vale SA. Seven ore carriers were ordered by this company in South Korea and another 12 in China. The pioneer among the twins was the vessel Vale Brazil, later renamed Or Brazil. It was launched in 2010 and serves to transport ore from Brazil to Asia. This bulk carrier replaces 11,000 ore carriers, burns almost 97 tons of fuel per day, and ranks second among ships in terms of dead weight yielding primacy to TI-class ships. Due to its size, it can dock only in some deep water ports in Brazil, China and Europe. It could easily fit six leaning towers of Pisa if laid out of length. HMM Algeciras this year, the title of the company that built the largest container ship in the world goes to Hyundai Merchant Marine, the HMN, which launched its HMN Algeciras in April 2020. 
that ceremony at Dell Shipbuilding Marine Engineering was hosted by South Korean President Moon Jae-in. HMM Algeciras has a capacity of almost 24 TEU, the length of Algeciras and MSC Galsan are the same and equal to the length of the circle of the Olympic Stadium, 400 meters. This means that a walk on a deck will take you about 5 minutes. The new vessel is 61 meters wide and 33 meters high. HMM Algeciras has already been delivered to the Northern Europe Asia Line, where it competes for continent transport services with MSC Galson. Thank you for watching. Hope it was interesting. Subscribe to the channel. Put your thumbs up. Ring the bells. See you soon again.